If you're looking to go 12-0 and in Battle Royale and MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dynasty and you don't know where to start, you don't know how to draft your team, you don't know how to go about going into games and what you should do, today I'm going to be breaking down tips on how to draft your Battle Royale team and then after this, I'm going to be using that Battle Royale team live on my Twitch channel, which is on the screen for you guys right now. So after I share my tips with you on how to draft your team in Battle Royale, I will be using this team and we're going to see how good those tips are and see how good we do with this team. So make sure to check out the Twitch. But if you're excited for this one, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it, but I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Today, I'm going to be taking you all through a Battle Royale draft and giving you my tips on how to draft the team if you want to go 12-0 and in Battle Royale, if you want to go flawless, because if you get 12 wins in Battle Royale, obviously, you are going to get that flawless 12-0 and reward pack, which is going to be awesome because you get some free diamonds, which I'll show you all right now, like a 90 overall Jason Bay, 91 overall Andrew Miller, 90 Chipper Jones, Craig Biggio, Pedro Martinez. You're going to be able to select whichever one you want. You can sell them on the marketplace, or you can use them on your team, and not only that, when you get 12 wins, you're also going to get every single reward that you see in front of you right now. You are going to get a guaranteed the show pack. You are going to get a 75 to 79 overall player, an 80 to 84 overall player for six wins, 85 to 89 live series diamond cards or a card like Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman. Those are all available in this. And then for 12 wins, 12 and 0 or 12 and 1, you are going to get a 90 plus overall player. That can include Otani, Mike Trout, Fernando Tatis Jr., Ronald Acuna, Jr. That can be so many stubs that you can add to your account and just a great way to complete collections, a great way to get your stubs up and make your team better. Battle Royale, if you're a good player at the game and you can get some of these win rewards will definitely help out your team. Now, I'm not going to lie to you all. It definitely takes a good enough player to go 12-0 or 12-1 Battle Royale. If you're a newer player, it's going to be very difficult to go 12-0, 12-1 to get these rewards because these games do get very sweaty. If you don't know Battle Royale, we are going to draft a 26-man squad. If you lose one game, that is fine but once you lose two games in a specific run that is it you are eliminated and you have to redraft there are three inning games and the more games you win your skill rating is going to go up so the more games you win you're going to be playing better players so let's go into a battle royale draft and i'm going to walk you through it right now so when you're in your diamond rounds the most important thing about a diamond round do not draft a pitcher there are good enough pitchers you can get later in the draft silvers bronzes maybe some golds i would probably say not golds either i wouldn't even try to draft a gold pitcher but if you absolutely have to you can your diamonds though absolutely not you need to focus on getting hitters because these are going to be some of the best hitters on your team in the diamond round so i have two options here i have byron buxton and i have craig biggio otani could be the only exception i guess to actually drafting a pitcher because he also can hit but he can only hit one out of every few games because in battle royale they're going to lose energy very quickly so you might get otani three to four times at absolute max in a battle royale run if you win all 12 games so i'd probably stay away from otani anyway so byron buxton and craig biggio are my options now i'm looking for somebody with power in our diamond picks here we need players with power preferably good defense as well and good speed and byron buxton fits all those necessities has really good power pretty good swing and he is a stud defensively craig biggio not a bad card solid defender solid contact wise but we want power here with our diamond pick so we are going to go with byron bucks and now we're in a gold round kind of the same thing we don't really want to go for a gold pitcher here we more than likely want to go with a gold hitter now we have two options for our hitters we have hunter renfro and we have lou garrick and in your golds also i would try not to pick a first baseman because there's going to be first basements that are silvers that have great power numbers and you guys are going to see as we go throughout the draft that we don't have to waste the gold on a first baseman because we really only want a first baseman that's going to hit a lot of bombs hit a lot of home runs for us be in the three or four spot of our battle royale team so we'd rather wait in the draft for somebody with power because we don't necessarily need a gold first baseman so i'm going to go with hunter renfro a guy that has great defensive stats can play the outfield with great power his contact isn't the best but we're at the beginning of the year it's not going to matter too much and he has an absolute cannon in right field so we are going to go with hunter Renfro. Now we have some options here with the silvers and this is where you can start looking at your options if you want to go pitcher if you want to keep going with hitters here we do have a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card that has okay stats I'd probably say not a good pick here power is not the best defense definitely isn't the best even at first base Nick Castellanos this card isn't great either and that JT Riomuto card is not very good so we don't want to go with any of those guys so we are going to go with Mark Melicone 
I think I mispronounced his name, but let me know in the comments down below if I did. I always forget with this guy. But he has a cutter, knuckle curve, four-seam fastball, and splitter. He has OK per nine stats for a silver in Battle Royale. He has that cutter, which we want. So we are going to take him. Now we're going to look at a bronze round here. And for the most part, we don't want to take a hitter in the bronze round. But it doesn't look like there's any really good options here. Jimmy Fox is OK, I guess, on the bench for a bronze. Xander, same thing, this rookie card. Bob Feller, though, let's see how fast he actually throws. 95 mile per hour fastball. Has a slider, 12-6 curve, and changeup. And we have Trevor Hoffman as an option, too. I think I'm going to go with Bob Feller here. I'm going to have somebody that throws a little bit of heat. That's where I want to go in this situation. Now for our next diamond round, we have a lot of great options here. Now, I would love to pick 99 overall Randy Johnson, but it's not worth it in my opinion. We don't want to start or we're only going to be able to use him three, maybe four times in the run, which means we're not going to go with Kenley either. Now, the other two cards are actually great, and this is a very tough decision between Joe Maurer and Chase Utley. They are both are great. They're both at a position that is normally pretty thin in Battle Royale, where the better players are in the higher ranks in gold and in diamond. I love this Joe Maurer card. We definitely would like to get a lefty into our lineup, so both of them fit that too. Chase Utley has a lot of power for the second baseman spot. This is a really tough decision. You can go either way you really want to. I would say, though, we're more than likely not going to get another great second baseman like we have here with Chase Utley. So I'm actually going to go with Chase Utley. We might be able to find a better catcher, not than Joe Maurer, but a better catcher than a second baseman that we would find if we didn't go ahead and take Chase Utley. And that's why I'm going to go with him. Now, when we're in the bronze round again, we want to look for either a good bench bat with good power that we can bring in to pinch hit. Or we want to look for a pitcher that has a good pitch selection. For the most part, we want sinkers, cutters, and sliders from our pitchers, and Joe Ryan doesn't really fit that. And this Edwin Rios and Marcel Uzuna card are actually pretty solid power-wise, so I'm gonna go ahead here and take Edwin Rios. That's gonna be our pick. He's gonna be a good, solid bench bat for us at some point throughout this run. Now, we look at this Carlos Hernandez card. He's okay, his pitch selection is not that great. JB Wendelkin, though, this is where we wanna go. This guy is a relief pitcher with okay per nine stats. He throws the ball decently fast, 95 miles an hour, and he's gonna have a sinker and a slider. He's gonna have five pitches coming out of the bullpen and that's where we want to go in another bronze round now we have zach pop joey wentz and a couple of hitters here and i don't like either of these hitters kurt suzuki or evan white so i'm not going to pick them so it's between the two pitchers and we definitely want to get some lefties into our bullpen and to our rotation here in battle royale but i don't like the joey wentz card doesn't throw gas doesn't have a good pitch selection has really bad per nine stats he's going to be bp so we don't want to use him i'm going to go with zach pop because he does throw the ball really really fast and that's why i'm going to go with him in this next silver round we have jordan Romano and he has 99 velo stats with a 98 mile per hour four seam fastball and 97 mile per hour two seam fastball so that's a really good pick Aguilar could be good as a power bat to play first base he's definitely a good option we might wind up getting him again but I'm gonna go with Romano here we want to start getting some good relievers into our bullpen now we have Severino who has the cutter which is what we want box burger his pitch selection isn't very good Vasquez we can get a better catcher than that I am also going to go with another pitcher I think Torkelson isn't the best here I'm going to go with Luis Severino, get our rotation going. How many people do we have in the bullpen? We still need four more bullpen spots and three more rotation spots. And we need to get some lefties desperately. This Adam Adovino card is nasty, though. That's exactly what we want. He has a sinker and a cutter in Battle Royale. And I don't really like the other two hitters. But Dew isn't bad, though, against righties. But I'm going to go with Adovino. He has the pitches that I want. He can throw hard. He has really good break, too. So those are the cards I'm going to go with now. Now we have the option of Seth Lugo, Matthew Boyd, Eloy Jimenez, and Ty France. And Jimenez is definitely bad defensively, but we do have Buxton in center field that can cover a lot of ground. So I'm going to take the power bat here, and I'm going to go with Jimenez. If we happen to get a better left fielder, we could take Jimenez out and play him on the bench, and that would be a good bench bat for us. Now we have to take a look here at another pitcher. We have a sinker and a slurrifer from Medina. That's pretty solid. These are the pitch selections that we want to see. Domingo Tapia has a sinker slider forcing fastball and changeup. I don't like either of these hitters, so we are going to go with pitchers. If you guys can see the theme here in the lower rounds, in the bronze, the commons, and the silvers, this is where you're going to get a lot of your pitchers. Dustin Malo, this is a great pick. Sinker, cutter, throws the ball hard. Exactly what we want. Every single aspect of a pitcher, Dustin May is going to be great. But we have to get lefties into our pitching staff here. Even if they're not that great at this point, we need lefties. We're full on righties. We need a good mix to play the matchups in Battle Royale, especially when people bring in pinch hitters. And Madison Bumgarner is actually a great lefty here. He's not going to throw the ball hard, but he has all the pitches you want. He has a cutter, has a sinker, sweeping curve, and circle change. So we have nine more picks to go in this draft. So let me break down the team right now. So we have our second baseman, Chase Utley. Edwin Rios, we could use a better third baseman. Definitely a better shortstop as well. Left field, the outfield looks pretty good. We have Jimenez, Buxton, and Renfro. 
our bench. We don't have anything on it yet. Bullpen, we have full righties. And then in the rotation, we have Madison Baumgartner. So we probably want to address the catcher and the first baseman if we see some good options. And Mitch Garver is a great option. He has great power for the catcher spot, but not the best defensive stats. And Josh Bell is decent for a first baseman. It's going to be between these two guys. And I'm going to go with Mitch Garver. Really good swing. That's going to help us out a lot for the catcher position. And now we have Pete Alonso here as an option to pick for our first baseman spot. And I am going to use a gold pick. I know I said for the most part, don't use gold on first baseman. But when you can get a guy with good power like Pete Alonso, 90 power against righties 110 whatever against lefties we have to use that gold pick on him but our last gold pick here we do have to make some improvements still in the line of third base and shortstop are definitely thin now not the best player so we want somebody that can play those positions and the only guy here that can is going to be Otto Lopez he does have good contact good speed he's going to be our new third baseman or shortstop wherever I want to put him probably third base unless Chase Utley can play any other position he can so third base or shortstop he'll definitely help out our team so we have to make a couple more picks here we have four bronze and two silver and one common no more golds or diamonds so now we're looking for bench bats and good bullpen options so we still have three more spots in the bullpen i want to get at least three lefty relievers onto our team with bum garner included so two more so I could go with Jordan Hicks here if I want because he does have a good sinker and cutter and throws the ball really, really fast. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my last righty reliever right there because we desperately needed one with a good sinker cutter combo that can throw the ball fast. And now we have Aaron Ashby. We're going to get a lefty right after that for the bullpen. That's definitely going to work out. Bobby Dahlbeck can be great as a bench bat and he can play third base. So Bobby Dahlbeck, I think I'm going to take here. We need a better third baseman if we're going to put a... Uh, Otto Lopez over there at shortstop. So that's a good pick. I'm happy with that. Now we have one common, two bronze, and one silver. We definitely need another lefty in our bullpen. So we're not going to take a bullpen arm until we see another lefty. So we have a couple options here. Brendan Rodgers. He looks okay. Good against lefties. That's the pick we're going to get to go up against lefties in the game when we need somebody for a bench bat. Now we have Kike Hernandez. I like Kike. Good swing. Decent across the board. Decent defensively too. He could play the infield for us. If I really want to, Austin Adams, not a lefty. So we're not going to go with a pitcher. So I am going to go ahead here and take Kike Hernandez. We can use him. We have two more picks and we have no lefty options here. We're going to take somebody with good speed here in the common round. That way they can pinch run and hopefully we get one lefty. We get Amir Garrett. He's going to be our lefty here. So we fill out the rest of the team with that. So this is what the final lineup is going to look like. And I do like the team. We have speed. We have power. We have two lefties. I would have liked to get another lefty on the team or a switch hitter. I didn't realize we didn't pick one. So that is my fault. You definitely want to get a switch hitter at least onto your team and maybe three lefties. So next time, I hope in my next draft, I'm able to get a switch hitter or a lefty, but we didn't get too many great options when it came to switch hitters and lefties in this draft. But Buxton, Chase Utley, Pete Alonso is going to be the three hole. I have to move Garver around. Sorry, I messed that up. Garver is going to be at the six hole. Actually, we'll put him over Rios. Rios will be six to mix and lefty right there. Jimenez is going to be seven. And Otto Lopez with that good contact will basically be that second leadoff man. He's going to be at eight. And we do have three lefties here. With the pitching, though, I think we did a great job. We got good pitch selections. We got righty lefty mix. Very excited about this team. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And hopefully, this helps you draft a better Battle Royale team and helps you go 12 0 in Battle Royale. Like I said earlier, I will be live streaming with this team right after this video goes live. I will be live on twitch so make sure to go check it out twitch.tv slash on the screen for you all right now but i'll talk to you in the next video have a great rest of your day peace